të ndërruar shikus për shëndetje. Populli dhe qeveria Amerikës ka ndarë miliona, miliona dolar për ndërtimin dhe zhvillimin ekonomik, veçanërisht zhvillimin e bujësis në Kosovë. Në këtë drejtim, drejtash emisioni bujkut ka ndje kur vazhdimisht punimet e shumë projekteve që ka pasur USAID-i që ka zbatuar në bujësin e Kosovës, ndërka që projekti i fundi që është NOA ose mundësi të reja për bujqësin në Kosovë është një projekti veçant që duhet të kemi edhe interesim të veçant si të mos për prezentimin e punëve të këti projekti të shumë të rëndësishëm për bujqën dhe bujqësin në Kosovës. Në këtë kontekst, sot, më safiri e misionit tonë të sotën pra, është zotëriu Martin Wood, drejtor i këti programi. A mund të përshkruar një objektiva të përgjëshme të programit? Well, before I do that, let me say what a pleasure it is to be on the Buku program. The projects on which I've worked in Kosovo have occasionally been featured on the show, but we never had a regular spot. I think this is a great development. The NOAA program looks forward to participating on your show every two weeks for most of this year and presenting information pertinent to the agricultural sector. As the title of the program, New Opportunities for Agriculture, implies, all the work we are undertaking on the program reflects newness. New varieties, new crops, new production techniques, new markets. The program is about supporting the larger producers and processors in Kosovo whose commitment to growing their businesses will contribute significantly to Kosovo's economy. It is a four-year program which really got underway in March this year and is focused on horticultural products only, fruits and vegetables. Through working in this sector, USAID's overarching goal for the program is to increase Kosovo's agricultural output, exports, and rural incomes. The program has five specific objectives. It aims to diversify and increase production of horticultural products, link products and farmers to markets, improve food quality and safety, increase access to affordable credit and improve coordination within the agricultural sector. New Opportunities for Agriculture is a $15.9 million program and it will end in February 2015. As in all USAID projects, the program will always be sensitive to increasing economic opportunities for women, the disadvantaged, minority groups and youth. You flit the diversification of the program in the first six months, we brought in experts to assess Kosovo's suitability for producing new varieties of established crops. They took into account climate, topography, soil conditions, market demands, and they made recommendations as to which varieties we should introduce. Some of these we were able to plant last year, for example, lettuce and gherkins. The new varieties of lettuce included varieties which are heat resistant, the new baby lettuce was sold in local supermarkets and to local restaurants. Farmers reported increasing orders from the supermarkets as customers found the baby lettuce appealing. The program also introduced four new gherkin varieties. On the evidence so far, the new and healthier varieties will double previous yields. <laughs> Yes, I said earlier that these vegetables were the only crops for which new varieties could be planted in 2011. However, we did identify many new fruit varieties of perennials which will be introduced in 2012. We have ordered all the requirements for the trials and the list is, is impressive. Over 14,000 young apple saplings from Italy, 15,000 table grapes also from Italy, 310,000 new strawberry plants, from the UK, 40,000 bare root plants of raspberries, also from the UK, and 14,000 cultivated blueberry plants from the US. All these imports, which by the way represent an investment by USAID and the American people of more than $400,000, are planned to arrive in March, April this year. All the plants will be properly certified from reputable nurseries. The varieties have been selected so as to extend the production season, to be more disease resistant and to provide varieties more demanded by the market. The ordered plants will be distributed to grantees 
and the growers will be well supervised in all aspects of production. Soil testing and enhancement, plot preparation, weeding, planting techniques, irrigation and fertigation, integrated pest management and harvesting techniques. Volume output will not be achieved with these crops in the first year or two, but the stage will be set for increased productivity of the crops in the following years. Projekti mund si treja të bujësis në kuptonet dhe prodhime treja të panjora dhe i tash perimet, pëhemet, cilat janë ato që do të futen në këtë projekt. Well, in 2011, we introduced trials of two new crops to Kosovo, saffron and asparagus. I guess one could also include cultivated blueberries, which I've just discussed. Kosovo produces great wild blueberries, or bilberries as they are correctly called, so we hope the quality can be replicated in the cultivated crop. But returning to saffron, we imported 500,000 corms, or bulbs, from Holland in July last year, but we are not expecting any significant crop for some time. Uh, just over a kilogram was harvested last year. Samples tested in Pear, as well as in Morocco and France, proved to be of high quality. We plan on importing a similar quantity of corms next spring. Harvesting saffron is potentially very labor intensive. The challenge is to exercise great care in harvesting. Consequently, dare I say, this activity is more suited to women's work. Asparagus is the other new crop. Asparagus was first cultivated by Macedonians in 200 BC. So maybe the program is only reintroducing the asparagus plant to Kosovo. Last summer, the program supported three local nurseries in the production of asparagus seedlings for the first time. They will be used as planting material in the early spring of 2012 to establish three hectares of transplanted asparagus. An asparagus planting is usually not harvested for the first three years after the crowns are planted, allowing the crown to develop a strong fibrous root system. But thereafter, a well cared for asparagus plant will generally produce for about 15 years without being replanted. Usajti për mes projekteve të drejt ashme ka punuar vazhdimisht në gjetet e tregut për femere të Kosovës të cilë si djet u mungon tregu ata vazhdimisht kanë vrejti në këtë drejtim. Cilat janë rezultatet e drejt ashme? In August last year, the program sent pairs of consultants to eight different regional countries to evaluate market entry opportunities. In each country, traders, wholesalers, supermarkets and small retailers were interviewed to ascertain buyer preferences regarding price, varieties, quality, packaging, and presentation. Opportunities for market entries were discussed with interested stakeholders at a series of workshops held in the first week of September. Regrettably, the opportunities in the near term were considered few. Strawberries to Albania and apples to Montenegro. There is still stiff regional competition. However, in the medium term, say 2014 to 2016, some opportunities were foreseen, provided Kosovo producers can drive down their costs of production and increase their exportable supply of quality product. One of the constraints in Kosovo's serious deficiency in both storage capacity and post-harvest knowledge, these deficits of production volumes, storage capacity, and post-harvest technology are serious impediments to expanding external markets. But external markets are not the only ones to which Kosovo producers must be linked. There are huge opportunities for impacting the trade gap and reducing imports by linking Kosovo's supermarkets and consumers more effectively with producers. And the relationships must become more professional. Recently, we supported the first written contract between a Kosovo supermarket and an apple producer, which specified quality and prices. Producers must realize that their buyers need to have confidence that the terms of the contract will be respected, that what is contracted for will be delivered and not sold off to another buyer when a better short-term opportunity arises. We are also supporting the Ministry of Agriculture's new campaign, From Our Land to Our Table 
We have arranged with several supermarkets to get prominent shelf space for Kosovo produced goods and for the supermarkets to help promote them. Tregu në kupton cilësi. Sa me doni që është punua dhe i tash në përmesim të cilësi se perime dhe të pembe në Kosovë? Yes, you're right. Food quality and safety is a major concern in Kosovo. I know many Kosovars still prefer buying imported products because they believe they've been produced under better quality control conditions. We need to change that. But we can only do that when the change is justified. One of our international advisors recently gave a presentation to some 20 lettuce producers. To demonstrate the inherent dangers of using uncomposted manure, he cited three major poisonings resulting from its use. On a cucumber farm in Germany last year, on a lettuce farm in California in 20, 2008, and on a cantaloupe farm in Colorado in 2005. Now, not only were the deaths and the illnesses they caused tragic, but the loss in sales to businesses was staggering. The whole sector suffers when there is an outbreak of E. coli on just one farm. So yes, there's much work to be done. We shall be monitoring soil quality at all our grantees. We shall be advising on proper fertilization procedures, not overusing fertilizer on the principle, the more the better, which is a common approach in Kosovo. We shall be encouraging the use of drip irrigation, where the fertilizer is control mixed with water for irrigation. And all our grantees have been instructed on the correct use of pesticides and have been informed of those pesticides whose use is forbidden. Viti i parë i projektit ka kalu 4 vite, zhjot këj projekt, sa në t'knasur me prezentimin e juj, apo me punën e juj të përfaqësimin e juj në emisionin bujku? Well, to kickstart awareness of the need for improved practices at the farm level, the program held five workshops across the country at which the basic principles of safe use of pesticides and of good agricultural practices were explained. As you noted, Vuku covered one of those presentations. We shall be building on these workshops with more extensive trainings in the coming year. We've also planned to introduce trainings at the larger processing plants. In time, we expect all these to be HACCP certified. But there are many process controls that must be introduced and significant investments made in their infrastructure before this can be achieved. There is another area where food safety can be improved and that is at the border. Kosovo must provide sufficient trained inspectors checking incoming produce for compliance with food safety standards. We must also ensure that seedlings, rootstocks and other nursery plants are all properly certified before being allowed entry to Kosovo. Përmjësimi i qasës në kredit të vëllishme dhe përmjësimi i koordinimit brenda sektorit të bujqësisi në dy tema të rëndësishme. Svar mund të fritet në këtë dejti. Regarding improved access to credit for the agricultural community, this has been an ongoing concern for as long as I can remember in Kosovo. I think we all find it strange that agricultural loans have the lowest rate of failure, yet they incur the highest rates of interest of any major economic sector. <coughs> I know the Minister of Agriculture wants to do something about this imbalance between the risk and the interest rate in the ag sector. Our program has been assisting the Ministry in establishing a program to improve farmers' access to finance. We are providing experts in designing and implementing this initiative. Another structural weakness is the scarcity of stakeholders with a financial background in the sector. There are still plenty of funds, donors and ministries available for agriculture projects. However, the application for these funds are often deficient in financial input. Business plans showing returns on investment are not provided. Plans for covering working capital requirements are missing. Potential risks are not identified and so on. Agricultural students generally lack knowledge in financial matters and banks companies lack staff with proper agricultural knowledge. Therefore, our program has awarded a grant to a local business service provider to match agricultural background students with financial course training. <coughs> it will provide three months of classroom training to 25 of the best graduates from the agricultural faculty of the University of Pristina. This training, which started in mid-December, 
will be followed by internships with banks and agribusinesses that will last for two months. We hope this course, focused on agrofinancing, will lead to students being employed by banks and or agribusinesses and to more informed communication between the two. The performed TXO interviews are coordinated by the sector of Regarding this question, improved coordination with the agricultural sector, the program has staffed an international, Greg Boat, in the position of Senior Technical Advisor to the Minister of Agriculture. Greg is assisting the Ministry in several of its priority activities for 2012. For example, the Agricultural Credit Guarantee Program I referred to earlier, establishing three major fruit and vegetable collection and refrigerated storage centres in Pear, Rahabats and Jilan, establishing a new national agricultural extension service and establishing an economic analysis unit within the ministry. But one of his main functions will be to coordinate donor assistance to the ministry. Our joint goal, the ministries, NOAA's and that of other donors, should be to exploit the synergy of the donor involvement. Above all, ensuring that the net effect of the total donor contribution is greater than the sum of the individual donations. I think the Ministry's donor conference at the beginning of December was a great start to meeting this goal. So there you have a summary of the USAID New Opportunities for Agriculture program. I hope I've provided answers to all your questions. As a last point, I do recommend our website to all your viewers, www.noacost.com where they will find a lot more information about and contributed by our program. Zotir Martin Wood, falim dhe që ishit më safir e misionet të të sotëm. Thank you. Më safir të ndërruar, bashdoj me tema tja, me kronika tja të e misionet të sotëm. Pra adhe njerë, ju informohem se e misioni bukut gjatë tër vitit do të ketë partneritet me programin e ri, me NOA ose mundësit e reja në bujësit të Kosovës.